Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. This video shows how you can create debug configurations in Code Composer Studio and customize several settings such as program load options, auto run and launch options, and several others. This can be helpful if you have a need to assign a different debug configuration for each build configuration of your project. So let's say you have a project with two build configurations debug and release. And for the debug build, you want to launch a debug session that loads the program and halts at main. While for the release build, you want to launch a debug session that loads the program and proceeds to run freely. You can do this by creating two debug configurations and customizing the settings as desired. If you have already launched a debug session once for this project, then you can go to the menu, Run Debug Configurations. And you should see your debug configuration there. In this case, it is the same name as the project. Now you can select it and make copies of it using this icon. Now I'm going to go ahead and make two copies. I will name one of them Blinky Debug. and the other one, Blinky Release. Now for the debug version, go to the Target tab, Auto Run and Launch options, and confirm that we're going to stop at symbol main on a program load or restart. For the release version, we go to the same thing and we're going to delete the symbol main so the program runs freely when it's loaded onto the target. One thing to note is that in both cases the program uh, to be loaded is set for the current active build configuration. So for the release version you want to make sure that you set your build configuration to be the release version and make sure you build that before you select this debug launch configuration. After you apply these settings, you can simply click on the debug button to launch the debugger with those settings. This is the debug version that is now halted at main. Next, if I want to switch to the release version, I'm going to first make that my active build configuration. And now I can go back to my debug configuration, select release, and debug. And you see this comes up running and it is not halted at main, which is what we had wanted for the release version. After a debug session has been launched once, then you should be able to invoke it subsequently by simply clicking the down arrow near the bug button and you can see that they are available here. Hope this little quick tip video was helpful and thanks for watching.